So, Algebra 1 Review Problem 7a. Show the following function as a table, a graph, a mapping, and a set of ordered pairs. Okay, f of x is equal to 3x minus 5. So, I'm going to choose a few different numbers for x. I will try negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. If x is negative 1, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, minus 5 is negative 8. If x is 0, my output is negative 5. If x is 1, 3 times 1 is 3, minus 5 is negative 2. If x is 2, 3 times 2 <coughs> is 6, minus 5 is positive 1. As a graph, if x is 0, my output is negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if x is 2, my output is 1. Exactly two points make a straight line. It's a continuous function because I can choose any input I want. I could graph all the points, but why? As a mapping, my input, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. My output, negative 1 maps to negative 8, 0 maps to negative 5, 1 maps to negative 2, 2 maps to 1. And in ordered pairs, I have negative 1, comma, negative 8. Let's see, negative 1, negative 8. Sure enough, that's on my line. 0, negative 5, I graphed. 1, negative 2, well, that's on my graph. 0, negative 5. 1, negative 2, 2, comma, 1. And finally, sketch a continuous graph with the following attributes. It's continuous. The domain is bigger than negative 4. X can be equal to positive 8. The y-intercept is 2. The x-intercept is 3. x cannot go all the way to negative 4. I have an open circle here. Two points determine a line. x could be equal to positive 8 here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's the end of it. And that's the end of our review. Good luck on your test.